everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. Because, uh, I know you all love them. We are gonna do another vanilla run today because I wanna play a vanilla run. I like vanilla runs. What can I say? It's n I've had enough of the excuses. I love challenge runs as well. Especially when, uh, they end up being kind of a novel thing. But I especially love vanilla runs as well because it's the inherent randomness that makes the Binding of Isaac a game with such longevity, shall we say. But in any case, I saw a great, uh, comment. There's actually some OC on, uh, the Binding of Isaac. Or sorry, not the Binding of Isaac, the NLSS Circle Jerk subreddit, which you should definitely check out if you're as dumb as I am. And, uh, it was basically like, Northern Lion's reasoning for, uh, or Northern Lion's thought process when he goes to make a Binding of Isaac video. It's like, open, it's a comic of me, and I like, open the first video that I see, and it's like, top comments, not BizSnap, not Novastat, or, okay, Vanilla Run it is, and you know there is. Uh, not a 100% degree of truth to that, but there is a certain degree of truth to that, and if I see challenge runs that I'm like, eh, I don't really think it would work, uh, then I have a tendency to kind of ignore them. And, you know, in favor of vanilla runs, because, you know, here's the thing, if vanilla runs, you know, clock in at an average of, like, seven on an enjoyment level, fuck you, Envy, I'm trying to make a point here, and the challenge run that I'm looking at has the potential to be, like, a four, and I'm like, you know what? A vanilla run seems to make more sense in this situation. By the way, I am trying to kill the blue ones last here in the hopes that it gives me a higher chance of getting the uh, attack fly. I have no idea if that actually works, but hey, it worked this time, so that's going to cement it in my head. Whether it's true or not remains to be seen, but anyway. Uh, so we have an attack fly now. Anyway, we're going to do a vanilla run. I like vanilla runs. Kane is a great character for vanilla runs because the pills, you never know what's going to happen. Also, weird interactions with items like technology. Let's move onward. So, you know, it's been a pretty good run of form lately. Uh, I haven't won every video that I've done, but if, if you include the videos from the Twitch streams, there's been some really good wins, as well as some really good losses, and that's a weird sentence to say. Uh, because, you know, how could a loss be really good? Well, it's really good if I, like, die to Isaac when I shouldn't have even made him in the first place, basically. So we got Bucket of Lard, which kind of sounds like, uh, could be like a reskinned Al Yankovic version of a Bob Dylan song. Bucket of lard, bucket of chicken, got all these buckets in my lips I'm licking, I don't know, Bu bucket of carbs, it's not even, let's cut the episode, we're gonna start it, we're gonna start it again! Hey everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, where we'll be making zero Bob Dylan impressions, you know, I saw Bob Dylan in concert once, I'm a Bob Dylan fan, I would say, um, you know, not necessarily my favorite musician, but I have respect for his work. Uh, and this is one of the worst concerts I actually ever saw in my entire life. And that's coming from someone who does not think you need to be a fantastic singer in order to be a, a fantastic artist. But in any case, there you go. Maybe I just saved you guys some money or inspired a plethora of angry comments. But One Direction, now that was a show, man. Go see 1D, 3D in theaters. At some point, I should go back and watch a YouTube video so I can get the ad that every YouTube video is getting this week for uh, the One Direction concert. Anyway. We're gonna leave this floor. I was thinking about using the world card here, uh, but you know, there's really no need for it because we don't have any bombs to access the secret room anyway, so if I get bombs, then I'll look for the world card, and maybe that'll give us enough money to go to the shop, and maybe that'll give us the blue candle or something, and then we'll win a game as the result of my ingenuity. But I kind of doubt that that's gonna be the case, but whatever. We still have zero bombs, so uh, this tinted rock is not going to be accessible to us either. We are really looking uh, forward to getting some damage upgrades at some point, but you know, as, you know, lackluster as that first floor may have seemed, the fact that we have the uh, attack fly as well as bucket of lard is actually fantastic. Now, as we saw, I am actually just going to use uh, our bomb on this one. Uh, as we saw in uh, one of my last uh, episodes that I took from the Twitch stream, uh, two attack flies is actually like a really fantastic uh, combination of items to have. They synergize well with one another, and you'll kind of like accidentally kill a lot of enemies that are, are far away from you, which is fantastic. Uh, I would love to get a second attack fly. It's pretty rare that it'll happen, but if it does, that would be great. I'm not even sure. I guess we'd have to get it from an item room because we already got the one that drops from uh, the uh, boss room. And Guardian Angel, solid pickup. The best part of picking up Guardian Angel this early, beyond the obvious uh, effect of it probably causing us to not take as much damage, and of course I eat my words immediately, uh, is that it will also uh, mean that if we get a deal with the Angel, Guardian Angel can't actually appear in it. So that would be. Fantastic. Now, we are going to get a cube of meat here, which also works really well with Guardian Angel, so I'm psyched for that. Uh, I'm trying to use Attack Fly as actively as possible, because it does actually make for a, a totally solid uh, amount of damage to deal to an enemy. So, he should be down in just a second here. Thank you very- Ah, oh, I couldn't dodge properly there. I don't know if anybody else gets this. I, I commented earlier on this, but sometimes if I'm like already walking in a direction of the Binding of Isaac, 
Walking in a direction after that is borderline impossible. If I'm already walking back and shooting, then my keyboard just refused to recognize like a third input. So I can't like walk diagonally backwards and shoot at the same time. I'm, I'm actually trying it here. So let's try. Oh, that one totally worked. I guess it's whatever key you hit first. I don't know. Maybe I'm full of shit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ah, uh, we have Brother Bobby and the Guppy's head. You know what? I'm going to summon Brother Bobby here for one heart. It's not the greatest item by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it's a nice way to help us do a little bit of extra damage. And mostly, I just rarely take Brother Bobby, so I think it'll be an interesting pickup for us here. Uh, I'm not sure how it fits in with the whole, you know, hierarchy of, of deals with the devil, but who knows, maybe we'll never get another deal with the devil, so it's not like I could use this heart for anything else. Maybe I'll get 12 deals with the devil, and I won't be able to get Mom's knife as a result of taking Brother Bobby. That's the Binding of Isaac in a nutshell. Oh, this is the Binding of Isaac in a nutshell. Uh, how did I get into this big bloody nutshell? All right. I'm going to stop milking 14-year-old movies for my humor, and instead try to come up with some original stuff. You guys ever you been on an airplane and tasted that airplane food? What is up with that? It's almost like it's difficult to serve you a lunch 35,000 feet in the sky. The world is such an inconvenient place sometimes. Okay. Do I want to use the world card to try to find uh, if there's a secret room? Not really. I kind of just want to blow up another tinted rock in the hopes of getting the small rock. Um, there's a tinted rock here, but I don't... Could we actually do this in a way that would also allow us to get that five cents? Yes, we absolutely can, so we get a Spirit Heart and five cents for that single bomb. I'm okay with that. Wish we had more bombs, but uh, you can't always get what you want. That's, uh, as Paul McCartney said. Uh, Catacombs 1. Not psyched about our position in life right now. Um, we are lacking what I would consider some uh, borderline essential upgrades for having a good run in the Binding of Isaac, but it's still early on in the game. If we were on the caves, uh, I probably wouldn't be complaining, but because we are on the catacombs, which is a little bit trickier, I feel like I have the uh, the impetus to complain a little bit. Uh, because our damage is pretty low, our health is fine, better than it is when you start as Kane, I guess. Uh, but yeah, mostly just our damage and other kind of intangibles. Although, you know, Cube of Meat plus Guardian Angel is fantastic. If I can get a second Cube of Meat, uh, I would be... Uh, happier than a pig in his own feces. That's the way that sentence goes. Uh, apologies, my English might be rather inelegant. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would be very pleased with that. Again, that would kind of synergize well with Brother Bobby. We'd have a nice little cavalcade of familiars. By the way, uh, as always, of course, thank you for the challenge run suggestions. What I would like to say, though, is that uh, a very common challenge run suggestion is like do a run where you take every familiar. A lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't. Uh, there's actually kind of a shortcoming in the Binding of Isaac where uh, if you t have more than five familiars, the newest one you get just replaces the l the first one you got. I'm gonna open this up just because. Oh my god, what a waste. Um, so for example, if I had five familiars and the first familiar I picked up was a brother Bobby, and then I was like, oh, you know what? Let's add little Gish to the equation here. Little Gish would appear, but Brother Bobby would disappear. So you can only have a certain amount of followers on you at one time. So there is no run where you can do all followers at once. Now, there is, you know, the possibility uh, to do a, a run with five interesting familiars. And if you're interested in seeing that, uh, I believe I did one back in, like, the episode 300 or so range. So um, that run's already been done. I doubt that it's going to happen again. I Believe you me, I'm not angry at you for not having an encyclopedic knowledge of every episode of The Binding of Isaac I've ever done. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I'm just saying, uh, the content is out there if you, uh, want to ask for and, uh, and get a look for it. There we go, finally. So, we ended up not taking any damage, we picked up another four cents, which puts us basically on the verge of, uh, having an interesting and potentially useful- Ah! Well, now we're not, because we're two cents down now, but, um, we're on the verge of having a potentially useful shop. If we can get a little bit more money, keys are not going to be a problem. You know what's a problem right now is bombs. If it's not one thing, it's the other, isn't it? So, hopefully we are able to pick up a few more bombs in order to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Golden poop equals more money, or a trinket that gives us more money in the long run. In this case, it's uh, just raw fiscal power, which is fine by me. Raise my GDP a little bit and make it possible for me to pick up something from the shop. Potentially a good spirit heart item. So, I'm, I'm, or not a good spirit, space bar item. Sorry, I got my S's confused there. Uh, I'm going to explore the entirety of the floor first because I don't really see a reason why not. I will probably save going to the boss room until I pick up the item room and shop items, or at least check out what they have. Uh, just because I want to maximize my chances of getting a deal with the devil because obviously something like a mom's knife or a brimstone or a spirit of the night would give me a substantially better chance of beating the game. So I would be remiss if I didn't at least take every opportunity possible to improve my standing. We are still lacking bombs here, so disappointing. But... You know, if I complain about lacking bombs long enough, maybe I'll be able to use this world card 
uh, to find a... Oh, my God. Well, that, I was going to say, maybe I'll be able to use my world card uh, to find a, uh, like, epic fetus or fetus in a jar in a secret room. Uh, but instead, the game kind of bit me in my own ass for being kind of uh, needy, I guess, and gave me Anarchist Cookbook instead, an item which I consider basically straight up not good, but maybe we'll get a better one in here. Well, we get the ladder, which I will pick up, even though I know Bizsnap is not a fan of it. And you know what? We'll buy the pill as well. The pill is... Telepills, which took us to the secret room and gave us another six cents. So technically, we lost time, but we gained uh, one penny for our purchase of that uh, tinted rock. Sorry, our purchase of that pill got my nomenclature confused. Uh, so that's interesting. I'm not going to buy another bomb yet. Uh, the main thing that this does is it means I don't have to use my world card on this floor because I already... Uh, found where the secret room is. So effectively, it did save me the use of the world card. I was considering using it. That secret room was not really that special. Let's go fight our boss, and hopefully we'll get some good items that will allow us to produce uh, better results in the future. We have so much health. It's a shame there isn't really uh, one of the interesting kind of curse rooms here. We'll just walk over top of this a couple times. Hey, we ended up getting the chest. And the chest contains a golden chest, which contains a key and three more cents. Well, you know, since we didn't really pay anything to make it happen, that was actually for once a situation where I consider the self-sacrifice room to kind of be worth it. I do want to go back and get this last red heart, just in case that's how deals with the devil, like, that it affects how deals with the devil work, because I know if you, uh, don't get hit on a fight, or a boss fight, I should say, your odds of getting a deal with the devil are increased, but does that mean, you know, if you're at full health, then your odds of getting it increase as well? I don't know. So I am very tempted to use uh, the Anarchist Cookbook here, just because we might as well use it at some point. But it's going to be an easy boss fight, and I don't accidentally want to put myself into a position where I could be hurt. Very easy boss fight. We snag an HP upgrade, no deal with the devil, but down to the next floor. And we're still lacking any kind of remarkable upgrades. We are on the caves part two, though, which should be easier. Should be being the keyword there. Uh, easier keywords, I suppose. Uh, easier than the catacombs part one, but we'll see. Ladder is going to pay for itself pretty quickly. There's an interesting argument to be made about the ladder. I, I am of the position where I basically consider it to be worth it 100% uh, of the time, but I know that there are certain YouTubers like Bisnap, uh, who has, you know, don't get me wrong, a much better mechanical and analytical understanding of the game than I do, uh, who, who think they'd rather just pick up something else. They'd rather save their money for something else. Uh, I don't know. This calls for a straw poll, I guess. I'd be interested to see how people shake out on this one. Uh, is the ladder a must purchase? I guess it's situational as well. Like, if you have 15 cents and it's the second last floor of the game and you've already fought several greeds, I don't know, that might change my decision. Book of Belial. Okay, well, first off, let's actually use a Monster Man well here just to get it out of the rotation. We get a little chubby for a single room. Pleasure to have you. Uh, and then we'll get Book of Belial, which is going to be substantially better for us. We are effectively a slightly stronger version of Cain right now. Sorry, a slightly stronger version of Judas right now with a little bit of extra health and some, uh, Familiars and orbitals with us. I'm very pleased to be getting Book of Belial. That actually is a space bar item that we can roll with for the rest of the game. For our needs, you know, situationally, it's not the best space bar item we could possibly have. That would probably go to, you know, Blue Candle or the Nail or something like that right now. Uh, but it is one of my favorite space bar items in the game for sure. So I'm, I'm pleased to have it. Now, hopefully we're able to, we're able to make something happen on the... Uh, oh, it's such bullshit. He like, squeezed himself out of that diagonal area, which is straight up nonsense, and I will not stand for it. Uh, but hopefully we're able to make something happen in the shop here. I'm gonna go to it straight away before we go to the curse room, because yes, I was just gonna say, if it is greed, uh, I wanna have the opportunity to use Book of Belial and basically see how much health I'll have. So I'm hoping that we get back to full health so I can justify going to the curse room. Curse rooms have been, by and large, not terrible to me lately. Oh, we got another dime out of this, which is actually excellent. Uh, so we'll also pick up this pill. We're Kane, so health up, fantastic. We won't go to the curse room straight away. We'll kind of wait it out a little bit, and I'm really hoping to turn these health upgrades that we recently got into a sweet ass uh, deal with the devil for Mom's knife or something like that. Now there is a reasonable expectation that there could be a small rock in here. I would very much welcome the extra damage. We got a bomb and a spirit heart, which means uh, I effectively paid zero to get into that, uh, which is fantastic. I paid zero to get into that. Also, uh, my strategy for intercourse. So there we go, we found our secret room by way of the kind of redundant world card. We had two of them, we might as well use one on this floor. Uh, it's a slot machine, so I will just leave. I'm glad we didn't use our only world card to make that happen. And now we only have one key, so that'll serve me right for suggesting that, um, you know, oh, we got too many keys. What a silly thing to complain about, Northern Lion. We'll make our way down here. We still have no red hearts, which is unfortunate because now I want to go to the curse room. 
course, now that I actually have the opportunity, or have the impetus to go to the curse room, I don't have the means to be comfortable about it. Especially now that we have the spirit heart, actually. But our item room gives us mom's contacts. Glorious get there. One of my favorite items in the game, for sure. The ability to freeze enemies, especially with Book of Belial, is going to make bosses, in particular, uh, very, very easy. Now, uh, with Kane's luck up, I'm not sure if luck actually affects the odds of freezing an enemy. But if it does, we are uh, in a very good position as the character we were meant to be here. Is going to the curse room worth losing a spirit heart? That's an interesting conversation to have, and it'll depend largely on how much health I have uh, when I finish this boss fight and this room, I guess. Oh, we got another nickel there, so next shops should be worthwhile, provided I can actually get to them. We're gonna get a little chub, sorry, little Chad, again, every single time. Which is irritating to a slight extent because I don't know that we'll ever be able to uh, effectively use it as effectively as I would want. Um, versus, you know, something like another HP upgrade. But I'll take it. I mean, there, there have been times when Little Chad has really hooked me up when he's, when he's saved my life, essentially. So uh, I'm not going to complain about it too much. At least it's not a blue baby run. We seem to get Little Chad on, like, every blue baby run. Again, no deal with the devil. I'm not going to go to the curse room on this floor just because we have these spirit hearts. So let's go down to the next floor instead. Now we desperately need some keys. Uh, thankfully, somebody up there likes us, and we are indeed on the depths as opposed to uh, Necropolis. Necropolis could be... I mean, it's unlikely it would be a death sentence, but it would be substantially more difficult. Full health. Hey, speed up. That's fine, too. One speed up uh, as Kane is basically as much as I uh, desire. More than that, you know, a couple more speed upgrades wouldn't be the end of the world, but at some point I will start taking damage uh, from being faster than I can kind of compensate for, or uh, account for, cognitively maybe is how I wanted to phrase that. So, we have another key and a bomb up here, so that is probably our shop sorted out, although let's be honest, it's probably whatever uh, I come across first, the shop or the item room uh, that I will go to. Now, I should really be using Book of Belial more often uh, on any room where... The opportunity presents itself. That's oh well, like the boss room here. That was the worst damage of all time. I just stood still uh, and got hit by like 50 flies firing simultaneously, which sounds like a sentence you would have to write on a typing test. But there's more money for us. Let's go fight the devs part one boss because we are here and we might have the opportunity to get a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel. It's little Gish. Okay, so that's another familiar for us and the ability to freeze enemies and slow them now. By way of Little Gish plus Mom's Contact is absolutely fantastic. I'm super psyched about this. The other thing is if we can uh, ensure or at least give ourselves a high chance that enemies are going to stay in one place, it makes it so much easier to actually plan to hit them with attack flies. So uh, I'm very psyched about uh, the opportunity to do kind of extra active damage that way that we're going to have in front of us here. So you may have noticed uh, our damage still not what I would consider fantastic. Uh, we're not necessarily tearing through little uh, regular sized gish as much as I would like here. We did get a deal with the devil opportunity, which I enjoy a great deal. But still, very pleased to have it. And now, something like a brimstone, like we have uh, here, is going to be amazing for us. So, uh, I apologize to everybody who hates brimstone, but what can I say? I have a duty to myself to, uh, duty. I have a duty to myself to uh, give myself the best chance possible to win on these runs. Of course, we do have the uh, brim snap ability, which should hopefully uh, improve our chances as well. Is this abusing a glitch? Maybe, and, you know, probably. I don't think this is as it was intended to be, but by the same token, uh, you know, it's, it's the breaking of Isaac to a certain extent. Uh, I am going to use our world card just to find the secret room. And we'll bomb our way into that. I know it's going to aggravate some people, uh, and I apologize for that. But what a nice combination of items that we have here. Slowing, freezing, and uh, high damage in the form of this brimstone. So I think this is going to put us in a very good position uh, for moving onwards. And especially, again, against bosses. But now brimstone is like, we were already good against bosses. Brimstone just gives us that crowd control where when we walk into a room, we can probably uh, destroy any, any enemy we come across. And our item room contains Book of Shadows, which I will pick up just so it doesn't show up again. Uh, I like Book of Shadows, don't get me wrong. But uh, I think Book of Belial is going to be more conducive to our goals in this uh, run right now. So definitely, our shop's going to be important if I can get something that makes Book of Belial a little bit better. I would be psyched. This might be one of the few situations where I could actually reasonably see myself passing over Blue Candle because monitoring, like, it's a bastardization or a, like a, a mix of mockery of what uh, micromanagement actually is. But microing both Brimstone and um, Blue Candle is an annoyance for me. It's another slot machine. God damn it. That's either good luck or terrible luck. Uh, 
Well, I should have used the Book of Shadows for this blood bank, but we're not going to be able to get it recharged again. So instead, let's just play the bejesus out of it in the hopes that it gives us uh, the opportunity to get a health upgrade that I just traded for. Hey! Sexy lady! No, that was just really good luck for us. Uh, and with one more kill on this guy, we will get all oh, the cancer trinket. How does this affect... You know what? I will pick up the steam sale. How does the cancer trinket affect your brimstone? Is it worth Kane's eye? Oh, we got the moon card as well. That's the secret room on the next floor, sorted. I am going to take the cancer trinket. Does it make my familiars fire faster? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's play cool here. I'm glad I came here because there is a tinted rock. Um, and we'll be able to get more bombs than we spend. Ah, we got the small rock out of that as well. So thank God we got that speed upgrade from the uh, health upgrade earlier. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. It would cost me... Oh, no, you... Mm, one bomb to get two bombs. It, it seems like a smart idea here. But apart from that, there's no other decent value proposition. I would say the last half of this floor turned out very well for us. Let us uh, go down to the next floor. And I'm feeling a lot better about things. I mean, the, the thing is, I agonized a little bit too much over that uh, Cancer versus Kane's Eye debate. Unless we get Mom's Purse on the next floor, it's not going to matter because we're going to have to pick up the Polaroid. And uh, do I want to pick up Mom's Purse so I can keep the Cancer Trinket? Sure, but uh, I would rather get the Compass, basically. So I think that this floor has uh, turned things around for us a great deal. Let's pop this moon card. Uh, immediately we'll go fight Greed, which is great news because it means that we will be uh, bereft of a mini boss in the shop itself. So we will be able to buy something and we'll have more than enough money to do so, especially considering that we do have the steam sale. So there's our boss room. Obviously we'd be pretty silly if we fought the boss right away. So let's just ignore it for now and instead uh, focus on killing these guys. And there, there's a lot of items in the shop that would be fine for me to purchase. Uh, one that I do not want is like notched axe. Hey, battery, that's fine. Uh, we have another pill. The pill is something. Balls of steel, fantastic. And we'll buy the bomb as well. I'm buying all these pills because we're Kane. We, we might as well. So we, we know our way to the boss room, but we might as well go to the uh, item room as well. Uh, I think we've gained enough momentum at this point that I would be very, very surprised if we ended up putting up anything less than a stellar show at the very least. If we end up losing this run, you know, shit happens. But if we end up uh, not even getting to Isaac, I will be very disappointed given the uh, kind of uh, uh, upgrades or the, the luxuries that we've been afforded so far, I should say. You know, it's like if your dad graduates from Harvard and, and you flunk out of second grade, I can understand being a little bit disappointed. You should probably stop projecting my beliefs onto others. That was a, an ill-advised metaphor. Anyway, we have a golden key, which is not an oboe, but rather an opportunity for us to open every door without actually having to use our own keys, which is exceptionally important because we actually are a little low on keys right now. So, you know, every key that we get and save is a, a key earned. Spelunker sat. That means, um... Well, at least know where secret rooms are, but we still have to use bombs to get to them. I don't like Spelunker's hat uh, very much because, you know, if we get x-ray goggles. I mean, x-ray goggles are basically just a better version of Spelunker's hat. It's an item that I, I would rather just see, like, Spelunker's hat buffed to be exactly the same as x-ray goggles, or x-ray goggles debuffed to be exactly the same as Spelunker's hat. Otherwise, I mean, I get why the item's in the game. It's like an homage to Spelunky, but still, from a... Uh, like a balance standpoint, it doesn't really make sense to me, but maybe that doesn't matter. So let's drop this in here. Uh, torn page, or missing page, one of my least favorite trinkets, especially when I already have cancer. Uh, don't really want to play the slot machines, despite the fact that we are Kane. What am I even looking for over here? I guess I'm looking for the second secret room. That's the, the other good thing about Spelunker's hat, obviously, is it will show us the location of the second secret room, where we could possibly pick up an Eternal Heart to make our lives easier in the future, or finance some deals with the devil. Uh, it's just a fortune teller. As Kane, we would win if we played the fortune teller, but we're already in such a good position that, uh, why waste more time than is humanly necessary? Now, what would be my dream get here? Uh, the mob trap room containing a skeleton key or pyro. It's a red chest, which means I probably shouldn't have gone through with it. But if I'm going to make the effort to go to the curse rooms, I might as well open every red chest when, when it's available for free as well. It only makes sense. Alright, so we are abusing the brim snap glitch a little less than usual, I would say. Which is probably a good thing to avoid getting people angry, but uh, by the same token, I will use it whenever necessary to just speed things up. Especially on a boss fight like Mom coming up. We're not going to really be up against it at any point here, so we should really just uh, finish it as fast as possible. That's my philosophy anyway. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Now, 
there is it's kind of a weird layout for the uh, floor here. The boss room's kind of tucked away in a location where uh, like the room directly below the boss room seems like the most likely situation for the secret room to be. It's kind of weird that it's up here in the, the corner, but anyway. Irrelevant, I suppose. Red Mom is uh, one of the easier versions that we could possibly end up fighting. Kind of a, a negative that we're fighting uh, the red version with Brimstone, simply because Brimstone takes a while to charge, and thus means we're not going to be doing as much damage uh, straight away to Mom as I would like. Thank you to Guardian Angel for making sure I didn't get hit there. But, you know, keep all of my complaining uh, in perspective, because we're going to be able to tear through Mom really, really easily here. One more Brimstone should do it here. Oh my god, I got hit in the worst possible way. But hey, we got an HP upgrade for it anyway. We did not get Mom's purse, so uh, instead it is just us going down to the next floor. No compass, no purse, uh, no map, but we do have Spelunker's hat so we can go to secret rooms. Who knows, watch us get like Epic Fetus or Fetus in a jar or something. Just slot machines as far as the eye can see. Slot machines and fortune tellers and bears, oh my. Uh, lots of golden chests I have no interest in opening. Uh, another secret room. I wonder if I could just place the world's greatest bomb, like right? here and maybe get both of these things or neither neither is cool too don't really need bombs for the mom's heart boss fight because i have brimstone okay it's good to know that that's there in case we come across a blood bank but uh three bombs on this room is a pretty nasty loss but hey we got two back somebody up there likes me right now clearly all right easy room we will take our extra money because with 21 cents we are basically at the borderline of where i would consider judgment likely to pay out so it, you know there's always a decent chance we find judgment or a judgment card we might as well plan accordingly for that if i had 80 cents i probably wouldn't bother making an extra trip to pick up the money but uh why not when we have as much as we do right now now we are going to play the bejesus out of this blood bank uh the money not super important as mentioned even though it could come in handy mostly just trying to snag that uh, hp upgrade which we just did again i can't stress enough somebody up there likes me oh he was totally frozen i basically totally forgot about the fact that we were able to freeze enemies here uh but it's working quite nicely for now uh and you know even though i'm doing a lot of damage with brimstone it's important to note that uh you know my familiars nothing to sneeze at either uh when i hold down the brimstone button to charge it's nice to have these familiars who can do some active damage while i am kind of passively uh firing my laser basically or charging my laser sorry i got my memes mixed up um, I'm hoping, of course, that this is our trip to the boss room. More bombs is fantastic. Still not really worth it for that golden chest yet. I'm not in a desperate position. If I was in a desperate position, I would love to, uh, use a bomb and a key to open that golden chest. But now it's in my best interest to save these keys for the chest because I can probably carry myself through, uh, to the cathedral at least regardless. So, we're gonna be fighting double Loki here. Obviously, this is, uh, a job for Book of Belial. And we should be able to tear these guys up. Obviously, I want to hit both of them at the same time, if possible. It's not always going to be possible, but man, this is a quick fight. So we do get another deal with the devil and a tears upgrade and a tarot card. The tarot card is the tower, which is pretty bad. Our deal with the devil has uh, the pact and the quarter, neither of which really interest me. Uh, the pact might be interesting. Sorry, the, the mark might be interesting, but um, it's also uh, not essential. And this HP might end up coming in handy more so than uh, the extra stats from the uh, the mark. I'm just trying to remember now. Use my muscle memory to figure out what was actually in there. Your brain's a muscle. Don't tell me that's not muscle memory. All mess. All memory is muscle memory to me. Uh, we have some guts here, and our damage at this point is really, really good. It's not necessarily entirely from one source, you know, it's not like, oh, Brimstone made our damage good, although it did. Um, it's more like a combination of factors working together has made my, uh, damage to the point where, uh, I expect that we will have a reasonably decent chance to tear through these bosses. Mom's heart should be, uh, basically zero problem. Uh, I feel slightly differently about Isaac, but with Brimstone, Isaac should be pretty good, especially if we can manage to freeze and slow him with some regularity. Uh, there is our second secret room, and I'm hoping for, you know what, I was gonna say I'm hoping for an eternal heart, but let's dream realistic here. Anything that is not a fortune teller or a slot machine, uh, would make me tickle pink here. Cool, uh, we don't need that. That is a red chest which contains Guppy's Tail. You know what? I will pick that up. If we get more keys, uh, then Guppy's Tail will be nice for us. And we're not in a position where keys are, like, low right now. Although, we could use some more because we're basically at the, we're at the chest threshold right now. So, the more the merrier. But, uh... Okay, that didn't take him out. That did, though. 
This guy is real annoying. We'll just wait for him to pop up in exactly the same spot. And we get a dime, you know. It's times like this, mom's purse plus, like, a flat penny would be amazing. But we can't really plan for that. So, we've got to be on our way to the boss fight at this point. And I'm not using uh, Book of Belial because it's not necessary. I don't want to accidentally use it before we get to the boss room. It's, it's kind of a silly precaution because we know that we've got to be at least two or three rooms away right now. Still, you know, it's, it's important for me to keep it like this. And there's no real reason for me to use it more often right now because we're tearing through rooms so quickly regardless. That is our third HP upgrade from a blood bank so far. Uh, you can't you know, pay for luck like that. So definitely the game has done me a lot of favors so far. Tears upgrade, not sure if it affects Brimstone, but, uh, you know, we're Kane, so it's not like it could be anything bad anyway. The pill, that is. There is our, uh, oh, I almost opened that. I don't want to open that yet. I want to use a bomb here. If we get more keys, I'll open that because it's not going to cost us any bombs to get to it. One up, again, totally solid upgrade. I'm, I'm pleased that we've got it. I almost walked into the fire there. It looks like there is a way down, which might make it faster for us to get to our boss fights, but to be quite honest with you, it doesn't really matter to me. Especially, man, if we are freezing this guy so constantly. What might be really interesting about the synergy between uh, Brimstone and Mom's Contact is by way of the, the Brimstap glitch, I think I might actually be able to have, like, four times as many opportunities to freeze the enemy if I use the glitch, because it's hitting four times instead of once. Um, than I would otherwise. So th that might be something that really helps us out as we get a little later on. Uh, golden chest. Still don't want to open it yet. Even though it might have a key in it. So there's a mob trap room. And we got another key, so I will open that up now. Uh, I don't want to open that red chest. And it might seem stupid to not open that red chest, but it could teleport us to the I am error room. We don't really need the two of hearts. Ah, it's better than the tower card, though. So yes, I... I Understand the appeal of that red chest. We'll open it up after the mom's heart boss fight. I'm totally cool with walking out uh, and then what is this question marks? Tears up again. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I'm totally cool with walking out and then opening that red chest Oh, no, you know, I'm not because we need to be able to go up to the cathedral And if it takes us to the I am error room then we can't go up to the cathedral So uh, we, we would only be able to go down to shoal. So I think it's a silly decision uh, for me to go through with that if I ended up doing that. Let's drop some bombs here just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, I can't believe that that didn't kill Monster in one hit, honestly, but uh, wow, didn't kill him in two hits either. But so far, our familiars are, are just able to take him out here because I don't want to waste a... Uh, fuck it, we'll waste a Brimstone Charge. Apparently two Brimstone Charges. Attack Flight! Yes, thank you. Alright, Zombies? Nope, Larry Jr.'s. Easy kills. Uh, keep it up here. I'm not doing as much damage as I thought I was, actually, it turns out. But uh, now that I've got him exactly where I want him, we should have uh, permanent bomb throwing, which is going to make this fight substantially easier. Okay, so we had a little bit of a rough start there, but turned it around, absolutely. So we should not be earning a deal with the devil uh, from here on in for the rest of the game, but I'm pleased with where we are regardless. Two of hearts is what we're going to take with us, and we're going to go up to the cathedral, not opening up that red chest, just in case it took us to shore exclusively, which would be real dumb. So let's ignore it. Um, more keys, just in time to not be useful, probably, although we'll see what's in the second secret room. It is an eternal heart, finally, and uh, I think we will be able to protect this on our way down to the chest. Uh, spoilers, I think we have a very, very good chance of overall success on this run, largely due to picking up Brimstone, but also, uh, you know, decent play, decent decisions, uh, but the game certainly is, is kind of handing me uh, my success on a silver platter to a certain extent. All I had to do was not fuck it up, and so far we are in a position where I have not completely fucked it up, so that's good. Uh, I do have the one up already, the extra nine cents don't really matter, but I was thinking, you know, maybe we get the Ankh, maybe we get uh, Epic Fetus, and Epic Fetus would still make us more powerful than we currently are, so it's fine. Uh, and again, we are probably at this point on a floor where it makes sense uh, to use Book of Belial as much as possible, but uh, it's not 100% necessary uh, on enemies like Single Monstro 2, so I might as well save it in case we come across uh, some enemies who are more dickish. I haven't really, uh, haven't taken a lot of damage from uh, the time that we've left the uh, uh, the depths, so I feel like I'm in a pretty good position right now. I mean, I am basically two-shotting the Widow here, which is not quite Mom's Knife territory. Mom's Knife will usually take care of the Widow in one hit, but uh, it's still pretty good. Keep in mind that, of course, I can do it from afar here. There we go. And we'll just take out these nubs. The spider's also annoying, but the nubs, uh, easy kill. Another key, again, could be important. Keep in mind that we do have the uh, Guppy's Tail, so if we end up getting a number of golden chests, we can actually open them up with these keys now, although I do want to save four for the chest, because it is uh, exceptionally likely, I would say, that we end up getting down there. 
Uh, I should have been hit there, probably, but I wasn't. So that is uh, a moot point, I suppose. Now, we have one more hit against this guy. Should be an easy kill. Fantastic. We'll just take out the nub before he can shoot. And again, uh, probably should have used Book of Belial on that room. I'll use it on this room. Uh, but largely, it's just not that essential uh, on a lot of these rooms. Like, I, I took damage there, which is the first damage you've taken in a little while. But Book of Belial would not have saved me from taking damage against a, an angry spider, essentially. So, what am I supposed to do? I, I've taken two hits now, which is annoying. Two of hearts, though, is going to give me a, a little bit more leniency when it comes to health. And, you know, keeping in mind the lack of damage I've taken so far on these floors. Uh, I, I'm pleased with myself regardless, so... You can see, uh, easy two hits on the Widow. Ah, it's gonna be a three hitter, actually. I did like 80% of his health in one hit, but then only hit him once for the second pass there. Probably should not have opened that, even though it gave me the Spirit Heart, again, could have tele- Actually, you know, if it teleported me to the I Am Error room, by all fucking means, that, that, that would have been a good thing for me, because I wouldn't have had to fight Isaac before going down to the chest. Okay, uh, I would love to take out the bomb fly before dealing with the rest of these motherfuckers, who are actually super easy after that. So fuck this red chest for now. This is a scary room. Uh, oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention to him. I was paying attention to the bomb flies. Now I might be, uh, kind of losing spirit hearts. Which is unfortunate. Well, I mean, I am losing spirit hearts, but I might be losing them faster than I'm, I've gained them in the past, which would be real shitty, but... Uh, there we go. Oh, I froze him. That's good news. We'll blow him up, and then this one as well. And then we will definitely pop open this golden chest, and we'll definitely pop open that tinted rock. An extra spirit heart for me. Let us go fight uh, Isaac himself in a fight that I assume is going to be over pretty quickly. Uh, that was bad damage, but he's frozen now. So we just gotta remember, or remember, we just gotta remember. That sounds like a great porno, but uh, we just gotta remember to brim snap as much as is humanly possible here. And we're not doing crazy amounts of damage, but the fact that we're freezing Isaac is going to put us in a very good position uh, defensively for this fight because we're going to spend much less time uh, actually uh, worrying about dodging shots. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. Now just charge it up to full and then mash it as many times as you can. I feel like I should not use my ring finger because I'm, I'm on the right button, right? So I'm using my... the right arrow key, I should say. So I'm using my ring finger to push the button, but I feel like that is not as... You know, the, the rapid-fire muscles are not as fast as the ones in my index and middle finger, so... Uh, how did I develop those muscles? Years and years of practice finger-blasting your mothers. Collectively, probably at the same time. You don't know what my college life is like. So, let's get a couple more decent shots in here. Isaac is gonna go down, and this has kind of been a boring boss fight, in all honesty. Uh, the blue baby fight will probably be much of the same if we manage to make it to him. Probably shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, but... Um, just back it up just a slight amount here. And uh, down to the blue baby fight. Or, well, technically, I guess the, the rest of the chest as well does play a part. Miter, good item. Poison bombs, I'll take it. Forget me now, at this point, is just like adding insult to injury. And Ouija board doesn't matter. So, miter, poison bombs is cool. Um, we could do the chest twice if we wanted to take the forget me now. Will I do it? Shit, I don't know. It could be fun. We'll see after we beat. Um, uh, oh, I for totally forgot that I have the battery. That's how good this run has been. One of the best items that you can get from the shop. I forgot that I had it. Uh, but this definitely means I should be using Book of Belial substantially more often, because otherwise I'm just wasting uh, charges, essentially. I could probably use it like once every two rooms instead of once every three rooms. Uh, yeah, so I'm a big ding-dong is the, the long and short of this. Now, all this being said, um, we still have a, not a tall order, but an interesting task ahead of us when it comes to uh, getting to the end of the game. Sometimes the chest can be more difficult than you might expect, and uh, hubris can end up being your worst enemy, like a lit song in the mid-90s. Wait, late 90s, okay. At least I didn't get the band wrong. So we still have two more keys. Tower card, not that useful. Uh, kamikaze, substantially worse. Two of hearts, exceptionally useful. Now, um, you know what? Bad damage to take, yes, uh, but this is definitely uh, Book of Belial worthy, largely because I remembered that I have the battery. So if we can keep these guys on a similar rotation to one another, which is actually difficult because they're constantly getting frozen and then um, unfrozen and slowed one at a time. That was weird and we kind of... One of the strange situations where it seems like actually having a slowing ability might have hurt us. Now I'm pretty sure I don't want to use the Forget Me Now, now that I look at the kind of lack of spirit hearts that we have. Uh, kind of just want to get to this boss fight as quickly as possible and hopefully not die. This is a dead end for us, which is shitty, but uh, fairly easy 
fight for us on this room, and uh, it will give us a Book of Belial charge, and I probably will not need to uh, use Book of Belial on this fight. So if we just continue to keep this guy largely stuck in his own ways, fantastic. Now, uh, Two of Hearts card might end up being indeed our true savior here. Let's go up and to the right again. This is another dead end, but it's uh, the greatest of all dead ends. Because it has famine in it, which should mean uh, an incredibly easy boss fight for us. So, just ignore war for now. He'll be easy enough to kill on his own a little bit later. Now we can fight war. Between slowing and freezing, I do not really expect substantial issues with war. Uh, not to mention the fact that we have burn snaps, so we do a lot of damage here if I glitch out the game. Alright, that did a ton. And it does seem to be like the faster you hit the button, the more times you hit them. So if you can hit it faster and faster, then, it, you know, more power to you. Rosary, great item. Extra spirit hearts. Uh, doesn't give you any extra health, but uh, giving me a few extra spirit hearts is always nice. You know what I could have done is pop the forget me now to get uh, four extra chest items. If I get four keys, maybe I'll consider doing that, because that could be fun. Uh, but for now, I would really like to keep Book of Belial for the Isaac boss fight, so... Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about the decision I made there, because Book of Belial, uh, obviously one of the best space fire items in the game. One of the better space fire items in the game. I believe people are largely in consent. Consensus? Consent is not the right word there. Uh, about uh, Book of Belial. And uh, people are probably largely not dissenting about the fact that I should use Book of Belial on this room either, and I think that, that is a smart decision, you know? So let's kind of hold true to that. One more champion widow should not be an issue. I almost took damage there. Thankfully, we had Guardian Angel to block the shots coming in. And another Spirit Heart for me. At some point, we've got to be getting close uh, to our boss room. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, it's been kind of a long floor so far. Greed should be dead, and he is. And then Wrath should follow very soon after. Now, remember, because of our bombs, all bombs will now have a poison mechanic associated with them. So, uh, I think even the bombs that Wrath shoots here will do damage to himself. And to me, uh, if I'm an idiot, uh, through poison. So, I uh, don't like this room, obviously, but if we can get out of here without touching the poop. And we didn't! Uh, but if we could have gotten out of there without touching the poop, that would have been amazing for me. Now, slightly uh, more difficult version of an enemy that we've beaten like six times on this floor already. I've already taken one hit of damage, but that's okay. Shit happens. Uh, lots of angry spiders, but every time I shoot Brimstone, it will take out another, you know, 80% of them, and eventually, hopefully, the familiars will clean up the rest of the riffraff. Brass Knuckles! I have no idea how this is gonna work with, uh, Brimstone, if maybe, if there's a random chance for a Brimstone shot to just do more damage. I doubt we'll see us shooting out a wave of teeth, but, uh, this is the first time I think I've ever had Tough Love and Brimstone simultaneously. But, uh, you know, to be honest with you, that's probably something I would not remember anyway, because once I have Brimstone, I forget that I have things like the battery as well, so... Uh, maybe it's not the first time. Tough love, not that common of an item, in my experience, at least. Uh, more Red Hearts that I can't use just yet, but might need eventually. And another dead end! Well, at the very least, we've, uh... We've put in our dues on this floor. We know exactly where we need to go. Uh, well, we know exactly the direction that we need to go, at least. In order to beat this floor, but my god. Forget using the forget-me-now at this point. I just want to make sure I finish this floor. We might actually end up screwing ourselves over. This is why I would have loved the map or the compass to show up at some, at some point. Okay, that was really bad. Now, let's just play it cool here and break all of the poop, or at least much of it, so that I can get through here without taking damage. We are going to be running exclusively on red hearts pretty soon. Which is not bad, because we do have the, the two of hearts. But I would love to be able to wait and use the two of hearts until after... Uh, we get to that Blue Baby boss fight. Blue Baby boss fight! Doesn't that sound like a, that could be a mob deep song? Not a mob trap room. That sounds like it could be a mob deep lyric there. I don't know anything about mob deep, except that one of their albums is called The Infamous, and I hear it's very good. Because all I liquid to- all I listen to is liquid swords on repeat. Because my musical taste has not evolved since I was 17, but anyway. That's nothing against liquid swords, it's a dope album, and anyone who says otherwise, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Alright, a few more shots should be able to kill this chub here. We found our second secret room. We have enough bombs to make it worthwhile. Eternal Heart? Doesn't even... Yeah, sure. That's going to give us one more hit that we can absorb. Uh, it's basically just like picking up a Spirit Heart at this point in the game. Which is fine, you know? I'm not going to sit here and shit-talk Spirit Hearts that have saved my life and made winning runs on many occasions. Extra keys? Were there more golden chests? It doesn't look like it. I'm looking on the map right now. This has been maybe the longest time that we've spent on the chest uh, in, in quite some time. Now, I'm not going to use Book of Belial yet, because I have a feeling 
that tonight's gonna be a good night, but moreover, because that's irrelevant, uh, a feeling that we are close to the boss, because we have to be, just by process of elimination, unless that we're in so some kind of fucking purgatory floor, this madness has gotta stop. Another key. So now everyone's probably yelling, like, use the forget me now and get two more chests. God damn it. Binding of Isaac community, I refuse to do this. Thank you for freezing that dude in the best opportunity. Uh, I, I really can't use, or can't justify using Book of Belial on this room. Uh, as much as I would love to, because it would probably save me a lot of heartache, like that. Yeah. Uh, I can't because I need it for the boss fight. Basically, that's the, the long and the short of it. Thank you for that slow there, and then we'll do a little... I played Snake on my Nokia phone. I know how this works. Uh, we need Book of Belial, so we'll just wait for the creep to dissipate, and I think we should win here, but it ended up being substantially scarier than I'd initially anticipated. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, so let's, um, just back it up here, and we'll use the Brim Snap glitch as much as possible. We are not getting as much freezing, the slowing is fine, that's great, but we're not getting as much freezing as I would love. Uh, there we go, now we are. Maybe it's because I wasn't using the Brim Snap glitch effectively. Now that I'm standing on the other side of the room, I can use those fast twitch muscles uh, in my index finger to get a little bit more damage done. I think one more hit is when I use this Two of Hearts card and take us back to full health. Did lose our Eternal Heart though, oh no! Uh, we're more than halfway done with this fight. Good damage, and the fact that we keep him consistently slowed. If we win, this should be dedicated not only to Mom's Contact, but to Little Gish as well. Uh, I, I used um, the Two of Hearts card maybe a little late. I'd have to do some post-game analysis though to figure out if that is indeed the case. Now we can still get hit roughly six times before we die. The seventh time will kill us. So I think we're fine. Uh, especially as I take out these angel fetuses while they spawn. Uh, but it ended up being more difficult than I'd expected. But as always, thanks for your uh, support on this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I'll probably do another vanilla run next because I'm a piece of garbage. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.